my name is Joshua Moyer. I'm a grad student here at Cornell. I work with Willie Bemis, who's a professor in the Ecology and Evolutionary Bio Department. We're attempting to answer questions about shark teeth that have lingered in the minds of biologists for close to 200 years, and we're doing it with 21st century technology. Shark teeth represent the beginning of millions of years of evolutionary progress. You can learn an awful lot about sharks from just their teeth. For instance, I can look at this set of teeth from a sand tiger shark and tell you that it's predominantly bicivorous, that is, it eats fish, because look at these teeth, they're like needles. They're not designed to tear, they're designed to hold on to something that's trying to get away. So with a great white shark, you have serrated teeth, large serrated teeth, that are designed to do damage with the first strike. And then it can back off and let whatever it struck struggle and bleed to death. Since the late 1960s, not much had been written on shark teeth. Our first step was to get specimens, such as this guy here. Now this is the head of a great white shark, a juvenile great white shark. We decided to go back and try to answer some of the basic questions uh, using 21st century technology. Using computed tomography or CT scanning technology, we're able to view and explore shark teeth and jaws in ways that scientists could only dream of until recently. We would begin acquiring individual scans over the course of an hour to two hours. And at the end of the day, we could actually have a three-dimensional model that allows us to do things that 20, 30, 40 years ago, we would have to spend a year doing histological section. We're able to visualize shark teeth in a series, from the functional teeth on the labial side or outside of the jaw, to the most newly formed teeth on the lingual side or inside of the jaw. So here you can see just the beginnings of the replacement teeth in the left lower quadrant of the jaw, a great white shark. some more replacement teeth up there, and here are the functional teeth. So we've done a more or less sagittal section to this specimen without harming the actual specimen itself. So completely non-destructive and very informative. This is actually the jaw of a mako shark, a juvenile male, and we CT scan a uh, mako shark to look at the functional teeth right here on the symphysis of the lower jaw. We've got some fascinating images and we're comparing them to the images that we obtained after CTing the great white shark jaw to look at just how closely related these sharks are in terms of uh, dental morphology and, and uh, physiology. What we learn about the evolution and development of teeth could interest paleobiologists, ichthyologists, evolutionary biologists, cellular biologists, and even dentists.